bean sweets, right? So, so this dictates how many microseconds per division the bean sweeps. Um, where it starts drawing the bean is determined by the trigger. So the trigger, there's two things that determine the trigger. One is the direction. Is, it, is, the, is the signal going up or is the signal going down? And the other is um, a voltage level. And so there's a voltage level that is the trigger level. And that's this knob right here, trigger level. And so if you have a rising edge and um, this is your trigger level and your signal is going up, when it crosses this voltage level, it starts drawing across the screen. Okay. So and then the, when you pull that, when you pull this trigger out, it changes. So it'll start drawing on the on the falling edge rather right, than the right, rising right. edge. So you can see that here, um, the the, the scope is triggered right here on this rising edge, and it starts drawing right here. If we pull this out, so it's 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 triggered. We can't see that edge because it's triggered somewhere on a very fine point. Maybe it's not a slow scope. That's why you don't see. Yeah, yeah, we can't zoom in. If we could zoom in far enough, we might be able to and change the intensity. We might be able to see a little bit of that leading edge. Yeah, it, it's much easier to see with an AC signal because you could, you, as you change this, you could see the the trigger point moving up and down. <clears throat> okay. Oh, another question is: It says hook up nine. Uh, yeah, my pin 9 to the scope for channel 2. You, you uh -huh. always Where in the code does it say this? I'm like, wow. it's 9? It says it. in the comments. Just, this know, says it's 0. Uh, in the really comments different. somewhere, in the previous, so, in the yeah, previous yeah, right. portion. I, I that when you do the loop back, it tells you to hook up uh, pins 8 and 9 together. And then part part 4 tells you hook up pins 8 and 9 together to create the loop back. In part 5, it tells you hook your board up to your friend's board yeah. and determine which pin is the transmit pin and which pin is the receive pin. So so in part five, if you did, if and you can't do it because no one is here yet, right? But if you've done part five, in part five, you should come away knowing which pin is transmit, which one's receive. And, and then um, when you're doing this, um, you want to hook up to the transmit pin, which is pin nine, I guess it gives you the answer. Tells you nine, right? Yeah, but how does it set up pin nine in this program? Uh, serial zero dot begin. So serial zero uh, is pins eight and nine. It creates a, a, a serial port on pins eight and nine. And these are, which you, which you're, this lab, this is lab four, but it goes with week five lecture notes. So um, you're, you're you're way ahead of, of where the lecture notes are at. So, oh, yeah, just go through it one at a time here. Okay, we're, we're gonna finish this. All right. So we, we, we see the beginning of this. We see this. The, the signal's high. We had triggered on the rising edge, and it's high. If we pull this, it's triggered on the following falling edge, and it's low. Right. And then it tells you how to get all 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 the bits. Then how did I get it all there? All the bits 